You are gonna wanna watch this entire video because I'm gonna go over what some of our upcoming videos are gonna be about, what we're doing about our current camping situation, and I've got several questions for you guys. I can never get anything done around here. So as I was saying in my previous video, link to that video right here, sometimes in order to reach a goal, you have to think outside the box. It requires a little bit of flexibility, sometimes compromise, and a lot of patience especially when that goal requires money that you don't have. I'm always out there looking on Craigslist and Facebook because I'm open to the idea of finding a deal on something that I can flip or fix and flip, which in turn can sometimes get me the funds or partial funds that I need to get to that ultimate goal. During the process of selling my 2019 Kodiak, I caught wind of a family member that was selling their camper. Now this camper is by no means the ultimate goal, but I knew a lot about this camper, I knew the history, and I knew it was in pretty good shape. And the price was right. And this was something that I knew, A, I could use to salvage the rest of my summer camping trips, B, I could use it on a trade-in on a new rig, or C, at some point I could sell this and flip it for a profit. Now I know this purchase is gonna delay my ultimate goal, but it's also gonna give me the time that I'm gonna to need to search around to find the best deal on an RV that we really want. With that said, the ultimate goal of getting a new Class A or Class C is kinda of taking a little detour. With all that being said, let me show you this camper. This is a 1991 Tioga Aero on a Ford E350 chassis. As you can see, the outside is a bit faded. It has some delamination going on, but overall it's not too bad. The interior is in really good condition. The upholstery is good for the age. Carpet is clean with no stains. It has some new appliances, and the best part is everything in this camper works, including the onboard generator. I will do a full tour of this camper in an upcoming video. So that was a quick peek of the camper. I thought a great name for this camper would be Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, because that's the sound it makes when you go down the road. Now I don't know if all Class A and Class C's are that noisy, but that is one thing we noticed about it when we drove it. So let me know in the comments if you think Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is a great name for this camper or let us know if you got a better one. Okay, upcoming videos. I'm definitely gonna be doing videos on any projects I do to this camper. I'm also gonna be doing videos on the process that I'm gonna go through in order to find the new rig. I'll also be doing videos on the pros and cons of the transitions from the trailer to a motorhome. And I've definitely got more project videos coming for my boat and my F-250 that I'm working on right now. Now my son has made mention that he wants to start doing vlogs of our camping trips, fishing trips, and outdoor activities with me. So let me know in the comments if that's something you think you'd be interested in seeing on this channel or should we start a second channel? As always guys, be sure to check out the links in the description below to our Etsy store. We've got some really cool stuff on there. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. Don't forget to hit that like button and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace! I can never... Yeah. 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 I can never get anything done around here.